If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Growing back as a student, I remember what is the importance of a mentor, and it was my great mentors along my side who helped me contribute and achieve what I've been achieving so far. Hi everyone, my name is Devang Sharma. I'm working as a tech lead at Bank of Montreal in their North American banking, commercial banking hedge funds, and North American commercial banking. I'll be taking your Biotech and Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence course. I'm really looking forward to be a mentor and share my experience with you folks. Prior to working at BMO, I have worked in good tech companies like Facebook and Google, where I got a vast amount of experience working with latest tech stack and open source contributions. Prior to that, I have also contributed to top on top quarter open contest. So if you anybody is interested in competitive programming or if you have heard about it. I have been at Top Quarter Open 2019 and 2020 World Finalist and Google Code Jam and Facebook Hacker Cup World Semi Finalist. With my vast experience in competitive programming and software engineering, I'm looking forward to share that experience with you and help you excel in your careers. The one thing that I would highly recommend is while you are a student, you should understand what these companies are looking for. So if you have to mention some some criteria or some things which you should be really aware about as student if you are targeting to be in those companies is number one technical skills in terms of technical skills I would like to cover two parts one is the DSA which is data structures and algorithm and second is the system design those technical skills is something which they are majorly recruiting for or majorly looking for to hire for second I would like to talk about collaboration skills in terms of collaboration skills includes your communication your ability to be a team player. and i believe to take up leadership qualities and explain them while having any projects so i think these two skills are very common which every these top product based companies are looking for while having a strong hand of technical expertise and parallel you are able to be contributing as a good team player and third which i would like to mention in the last is have been collaboration with what is the required tech stack because a lot of time the college curriculums are obsolete or are not in parallel with what is required in the industry So, do you have the industry-related knowledge, which we are trying to teach here as Newton School of Technology, or are you able to keep up with the new latest technologies in the market, maybe React or React Native? And if you are able to contribute to that, that will be a really good intermediate in your open source contributions. I think it's very relevant to learn from the industry experts because if you are someone who is aspiring to be a software engineer or somebody aspiring to be having a career in IT as a professional, I think it's very important to know about what is going on in the tech industry because IT industry or tech industry in general is an industry which is very volatile in its nature. Something which has been very popular in current phase might be become obsolete in 10-15 years. You can take the example of PHP for say. So it's very important to understand what is the need of the market and how you can upskill yourself being in the industry experts and being connection with the industry experts and contribute to that. So at Newton School of Technology this internship is going to place you in connect with the industry expert so you can upskill yourself with the required skills in the market and become a better professional. AI is the common buzzword i would say which have been there in the past 3 to 4 years as you can see and with the recent introduction of chat gpt open ai and the words like generative ai which you have been seeing in the recent google talks or aws talks and now even the facebook has open release open source the code of llm so i think ai is the next power or i would say the next generation of the computer programming or the software engineering in general so it's very very important it's a very crucial time to learn to ai including machine learning models or data science if you want to work at and just take the just take the pace in the market because ai is something which is going to be occupying for the next 10 to 15 years the way i look at for the newton school of technology students is that considering that they will be graduating in the time where the ai is on the spring free and they are doing their education in the domain of artificial intelligence i think it's a it's a very golden opportunity for them and i want them to take all use of it and just implement it in the market because market is already looking for ai engineers and if you look at the course pay salaries from good websites like levels.fi you can see that artificial intelligence demand has grown a lot at least to 6 to 7% so at least to 6 to 7x and you can see that demand being grown and that's going to be a very very cool turn opportunity for students to apply three things that i'm looking forward that's a very good question and as a mentor i would say the first thing is that i'm looking for is dedication 
and second thing is looking forward to your punctuality and third last but not the least is your efforts and your manifestations to working as a software engineer i would explain all these these points in short see as any other career software engineering is another career right it will require some patience efforts and dedication to make through it it's not something that you can cover over a night and expect to be a software engineer at facebook or google or any of the big companies it will take efforts sometimes it will take 3 months to 6 months of long efforts preparation i or we or anybody as a mentor at newton school of technology we are here to handhold you we are prepared to prepare well for the future but at the end of the day if you are putting 80% efforts we expect you to put 20% efforts for example it can be terms of doing homeworks or assignments or whatever we are providing you for right so i just expect that 20% of efforts to be done and done by the whole hearts and i think that should be enough to get you placed if you want to become entrepreneurs of the next generation i would say the very first thing is think out of the box a lot of times you would not be told or you will be told specifically to walk in a particular path or follow a particular conventional way that's not going to work in today's generation you have to be exceptionally good and thinking outside of the box which includes finding out your passion finding out which domain you want to explore and just contributing to that second thing is this is a very good proverb which goes from ratan tata is that if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together so while you are in college try to experiment making more communities because the power of communities and the power of networking is exceptional which you will realize over a period of time while you are while you will be growing up and working as a professional so try to have more and more people associated with it it can be in terms of maybe trying out a startup when you are young right because there is no point when failing young and the more you will fail the better you will succeed over a period of time so try out with different opportunities connect with a lot of people network with a lot of networking events and i think that's something which will set you apart third and last but not the loss last but not the least is that being an entrepreneur is all about solving a problem that's it you don't become an entrepreneur to get a tag of a founder or a ceo it's all about solving problems and i think problems are everywhere if you are looking for it so change your dimensions to be a problem solver and look for the problems you can solve it doesn't need to be very complex problem like you have to launch a rocket or something it can be very minute problems and then apply your domain skills it can be technical knowledge or operational knowledge how you can solve those problems and make the life of your customers easier the easier you will make your lives for your customers the better you will become as an entrepreneur i'm really excited to be a mentor at newton school of technology and i'm looking forward to welcome you to the course of btech in computer science and ai so looking forward to having an amazing course and an amazing audience and help you get placed in all your dream companies Thank you.